right. A good Nerev Shabbos, everybody. It's almost Shabbos. I don't think this will be up before Shabbos. The last one was. For Yedze Yaakov. There's Rashi. So we're still in Kedusha Slavi. This is the third. For our Torah in the Kedusha Slavi. That first one was really long. Um, uh, so uh, Jacob went out with Perish Rashi. Rashi explains, calls Manch at Sadak Bahir Hu Hoida. But the whole time that a Sadak, that a righteous person, a saint, is in the city, he is the glory, he is the beauty, he is the, the stateliness of the city, of the town. Koshal Rashi, so it's a question in Rashi, the Vilma Kosov Yel Kharana, but the, the scripture says that he went to a place called Kharan. What does it say he went to Haran? It should have said he went down to Haran. To the Ferish Bechama Mechemus, the Ahoylech Lerit Sola Chusar, the Ktaviyerid. Because elsewhere in scripture, if you leave the Holy Land and go to another land, it says he went down. He went down to Egypt. Why doesn't it say he went down to Haran? Good question. Um. That's a Pasach Genuva. Because Eretz Yisrael, the Holy Land, the land of Israel, is higher than that which is outside of the Holy Land, the diaspora. Amnam, however, incurred the Eretz Yisrael, the Ruchni is a Kedusha, Mechutz Laaretz. We're, we're not talking physically that Eretz Israel is higher than any other land, because we know the highest point in the world uh, physically from the sea level would be Mount Everest, would be Nepal. Um, uh, uh, you know, the mountains in Tibet and Nepal and, and, uh, and that area. So we're not talking that physically Eretz Israel is higher, but rather spiritually in holiness, Eretzel is on a higher level spiritually than places outside the Holy Land. Uh, and that's why, generally, we're talking that you went down to Egypt. And you went, but why does it say that we went down to Haran? But this is not the case when it, it, this is going along the lines of, of what we're saying. And when you have a holy person like Jacob, peace be upon him, our, our patriarch. She got some of upon a hoidai. Like Rashi says, the hoid, the glory of Beersheba left with Jacob. Meaning that that glory left and traveled with him. Kedusha Saratzel Holcha Ima. And the holiness of the Holy Land traveled with Jacob. Uzek Siv Harana. And that's why it said, and he went to Choran. It didn't say he went down to Choran. Loi Vayerich. Yankov Loi Yorin Klau. Because Jacob never went down. Uzek Vonus Chazal. This is what our sages teach. Gam came from uh, Rashi, and, and, and they teach us also in Rashi. Brings it down. Pasuk Behini and Echimach. When God says to Jacob, "Behold, I am with thee. I am with you." Shenakar Har Maria Ba Lakan. I am shown that actually Mount Moriah, the Temple Mount, was picked up and brought to Jacob. See what it says there. Kiyankav Haya made Sir El Shuhut Shachalachas Meretz Sol Lachutzaretz. Jacob was was upset that he had to leave the Holy Land and go outside the land to the diaspora. Chayim Perish Rashi, Parshas Vayigash, the same thing. Parshas Vayigash, Rashi explains, Kosek Altira Mirada, it's Merida Mitzrayma. Rashi explains that God says to Jacob in a dream, don't be afraid of going down toward Egypt. Meaning that even even when Jacob went to Egypt, he wasn't going down to Egypt. So that's a meaning. That's what says. Don't be afraid of going down to Egypt because when you go to Egypt, other people go down to Egypt, but you, Jacob, you don't go down anywhere. You're gonna go. 
when you go to Egypt, you're going to bring Jerusalem with you. This is very powerful stuff if you think about what it means. That's why God showed Jacob this vision that Mount Moriah was uprooted and came to him. So it wasn't anything extra that the holiness of Eretzuel was a sign that he should, oh, it was a sign that he shouldn't be afraid. He shouldn't be afraid. He should see that the holiness of Eretz was going with him. As he saw now that Mount Moriah, the Temple Mount, came to him. We should understand this. It's powerful stuff. We should recognize this. That Eretz you know, I think, you know, uh, a lot of secular scholars talk about the foundations of Western civilization being Jerusalem and Athens. It means to say Jerusalem is not just a place on the map, it's not just a piece of real estate. Jerusalem is an ideal. The Temple Mountain is an ideal. It, it, you know, all of this, you know, exterior fighting over real estate is nonsense because what we really need is to make, like, like the Tzemach Tzedek said, one of his Hasidim wanted to go to Eretz Yisrael. And, uh, and the, the Tzemach Tzedek told him, make this place Eretz Yisrael. There in Russia, in Lubavitch, make this place Eretz Yisrael. Very famous story. And it's the same idea that the, that the Kedushas Levi is saying here. That uh, you, you, you you can't think that you're going down the same, and it's the same thing. It's not just Eretz Yisrael. It's whatever you do in life, wherever you go in life, you are God is with you. That's the message of the previous Torah, meaning uh, you know you you go and you spend time learning in yeshiva, right? Or you spend time davening in shul. You're doing something holy, and then you have to go to work. The shul is supposed to go with you. The yeshiva is supposed to go with you wherever you go. And the thing is, is that it has to go with you in the sense of, you know, and, and, and it's the same thing. You know, that's another thing the Chazal say. Wherever the Jews went, yeshiva never ceased, I mean, sitting and learning, never ceased among the Israelites. Meaning, you got to be learning, you got to be, you got, meaning it, it doesn't, it's not just when you're actually in yeshiva. Wherever you go, like Paschal and yeshiva, yeshiva doesn't stop. You're always in yeshiva. When he's learning with, you, with Akiva, who's still in yeshiva, and probably will be for life. Okay, V'yikach mi'avnei ha'makam. Let's do one more. V'yosem mi'asho yisav makim ahu. And he took the stones of the place and he placed it under his head and he slept in that place. V'yikach mi'avnei That's Genesis 28.11, right? V'yikach mi'avnei And he took from the stones Zeo Oisius. That means the the, the letters of the alphabet that's what's brought in Sefi Yitzira Hamakim so of the place meaning the common term for God throughout throughout um, so much of our rabbinical literature is Hamakim the place because God is the place of the world we also also and he placed it under his head, claim of voracious Hamachshava, the beginning of the thoughts, Vizevi Yishkav, that's what it means that he went to sleep, Vyesh Chav Beis Oisius, Yishkav is Yesh, there is Chav Beis, 22, meaning 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet, Bamakaim, the place, 
meaning in God, Kanal Hahu, that place, Lashon Nister, and it's it's hidden from Maven Yavin. And the Rebbe says, if you understand what I said here, you understand. I'm not going to explain it anymore. Meaning, these, these, this is something to contemplate on and to meditate on. All right. So we try one more. It's very late. This one's too long. So thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. Let's, you know, think about what all this means. I don't know what it means. <laughs> Let's try to understand it. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. We'll see you all later. See you here. There he is.